a high priestess in a folkloric witchcraft tradition, and I've been brewing magic for a very long time now. Come on in, let's brew some together. Hello, hello! Welcome to the House of Witchcraft. I am so happy to see all of y'all here today for another Wednesday Magical Herbs on Fire! Yeah, I'm trying to make your whole incense sound really exciting, I know. Uh, but it is exciting. These are Mother Nature's vibrations. This is Mother Nature's energy. And learning to use it as a tool in, in your working and learning to use those energies themselves to create magic. And today's herbal recipe, y'all, we need, that's what I'm saying right now, we need it. This is cleansing out those corners. We don't have folk all up in our house. We, and I know for some of us, maybe not so many folk. You've just been sitting there for a while with no folk. Uh, and others of us are getting ready to go into those holiday seasons. And so this is all about cleansing those corners out. That's what I'm talking. We're going to make sure that no icky. So that when folks do come, it's a beautiful environment. And we're going to make sure that uh, if they left you anything icky, that we're getting rid of it. You know what I'm saying? All right. And as you know, we're always going to start with ventilation. If you are going to burn herbal incense, ventilation, which is, all right, you do not want to the farm and not leave. It ain't the trip you want. All right, you know the first thing we got to do, take a nice deep breath. This is a magical working. So we got to make sure our headspace is right. Make sure our area is right. Everything's feeling good. This is about cleansing out the corners. And when we're doing these herbal incense, it's very important we keep that intention right up here in the forefront of our brains. That visualization, this is going to cleanse my corners. This is what I'm making. This is what I've sat out. Now, of course, you know, I'm all about lighting a little candle to divinity. Or you may want to put some crystals out. Whatever is your way to help you just stop and connect. And this again... It, did it go? I'm like, ooh, there she goes. This is a beautiful candle from Creations from the Hollow. Drew makes these beautiful herbal infused candles. And no, I do not get paid. In fact, I don't even know if she knows I, that I do shout outs on every other video. But I want to stop. Take that deep breath. This is what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to ask divinity to, to aid and guide me in this endeavor. And most importantly, when I'm doing a magical working, I want to be coming from it, coming to it from a place of gratitude. All right. So take that breath. Are we ready to create some magic witches? Now, the first one on this is High John Incense. Okay, you can get, let me get my High John. Give me one sec. Here she is, right here. You can also get High John Root, which is a good conjuring root. The incense is considered a higher incense. Uh, it's been burned in temples, it's been used in magic. And this is, for me, I really like using this as a base for this because my house, my space is my temple. Wherever I am is sacred space. And so I want to set the tone with that. And now, where's my spoon? Now, when we're using this incense, we want to use about a half a teaspoon, which is, you know, we're not trying to make lots and lots. Unless, of course, you want to. Okay. All right. And, of course, one of the most beautiful herbs, and it's a biblical herb. Wash me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Psalms 57.1. All right. 
Hyssop is that cleansing herb. It's the holy herb. This is a tea. You can put this in teas. You can put it in baths. And of course, we can put it. I'm going to do a nice big heaping teaspoon. We can put it in any of our herbal incense mixtures. You just got to love hyssop. And there we go. Put that right here for you all. And then one of Marie Laveau's favorites. So you know it's going to be good. Ooh, right here it is. Oris. Oris root. You can get, mine is actually bits and pieces. You can also get Oris root powder. Marie Laveau said that if you put it in your shoe, after, of course, she said special words on it, that you would never lose in a court case. All right, I'm going to do nice because I got... Yeah, I'm doing a nice little teaspoon. Um, my last ingredient, of course, rosemary. You just can't go wrong with rosemary. And also, one of the witches dried us some really good rosemary. So I'm really grateful for that. Ooh, you can smell it. Mm, this is cleansing, purification. This is attracting friends. This is just that nice all-around herb. Now, you know, I want to take it and give it a good blend in. All right. We're going to blend her up, see what we've created. Let me see what I created right now. I want to give it a little, is this what I want? Actually, that smells so good. Oh, yeah, that's that's really good. What a beautiful mixture. How pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, put this down. Put my spoon back. Okay, you know, now that we got it all together, we got to activate it. And you can do by taking up your magical breath. One, two, three. All right, you can simply hold it and just visualize what it's going to do for you. You can say some beautiful rhyming words of prose that bless these herbs and all I've blended. May their powers blend to me. All right, or we can just maybe, hmm, you know me. I'm going to start. I'm going to give it nine good turns to activate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, yes. Oh, that's good. That is good stuff right in it there. Remember, I did a high John root, orris root, hyssop, and rosemary. And these are all fairly common herbs. And of course, you know, I'm going to tell you to put your own little flair into it. And when we're done, we're going to take, I put it in a nice pretty little bowl that I sit on my altar here. Or wherever I happen to be burning my incense. Now, of course, you know, I'm going to tell you a nice seashell. Self light charcoal, and of course, pieces of tin foil. And you really do need to fold it like eight, eight, nine times, get a good cushion on it. I'm gonna light my tin foil up. You see my pretty little spoon, which is y'all see my pretty little spoon. All right, and after I light it, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna put just as much on it, which is just this much. I'm going to pick this up and I'm walk around my, my space to my corners. Give it up. You know, nothing negative shall be in this space. This is your magic to create, witches. All right. Do it mindfully. Do it in a connected space. And I guarantee... This is going to be the best incense you have ever made. All right, witches, thank y'all so much for joining me here today. I'm going to give it a special shout out to Miss Moon Wilkerson. 
beautiful young witch who's trying to find her way. I, I'm there with you, girl. I want you to know I am there lending energy to you. And to the rest of you witches, you new witches that are trying to find your way. Welcome home, first of all. And it's okay not to know. It's okay to journey for a while. Remember that the witchcraft world is a giant buffet. And it may take you a little while to realize all the dishes on the buffet. So the most important thing is you do you, boo. This is about you finding your authentic voice. You deciding what you like, what you want, and what you need. So you take that little bit of wisdom. And I hope y'all have as bright of a blessed day as I'm having. Of course, it never changes. It's always the same. Amen. Bless be. Ashe. And Eva Bo. Mm -hmm.